Truthfully, I don't think people really realise what it's like living with psychosis and the potential of having a psychotic episode. Now, I'm someone with schizoaffective disorder and I've been diagnosed with this since July. Honestly, I'm spending every waking moment trying to work out if it's gonna lead, if something's gonna lead to another episode. Now I have manic episodes, I have depressive episodes, I have psychotic episodes. And all of them come with no warning at all. No one understands what it's like to live with schizophrenia or psychosis. It makes me feel so lonely and out of touch from people I love. Every second of my life it is full of preparation for the next episode which I have no control of. It's heart wrenching. I would not wish any psychotic disorder on anybody. And that's what schizoaffective disorder is, it's a psychotic disorder. So that goes without saying that you're going to experience psychotic episodes from time to time and psychotic symptoms. Now I experience psychotic symptoms on an almost daily basis. I have visual hallucinations, tactile hallucinations. When I'm in an episode I tend to have auditory hallucinations and visual hallucinations. But when I'm well, as, as I am now, it's honestly draining because you never know when you're going to go into an episode, so what do you do? I've done something to my, my hip, it's, it's hurting a lot. Living with psychosis is hard. Now, I know people who are schizophrenic and aren't on medication. They just accept their symptoms and they can be stable with them. And that is truly incredible. I would be so lost without my medication. My medication gives me the power to get through a day. And while it does not stop all psychotic symptoms, it helps a lot with reducing how many hallucinations I have. So, for those who don't know, I was originally diagnosed bipolar 1 with psychotic features. I then, got this year, got diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. Because my psychotic symptoms were occurring at times that I wasn't in an episode. And that's the big difference between bipolar and psychosis and schizoaffective disorder. With schizoaffective disorder, your psychotic symptoms can occur at any time. With bipolar, they have to occur when you are in an episode of either depression, mania. I'm making this video because I want to raise awareness for, for psychotic disorders and psychosis. Because it's not what the media makes it out to be like. We're not violent, we're not dangerous. A lot of the time when we hear voices, they're telling us to do stuff to ourselves, otherwise something bad will happen. To those we love. Now I have probably had schizoaffective disorder since I was about eight. That's my first real hallucination that I had. I was eight. Schizoaffective disorder, uh, schizophrenia, and schizoidiffractive and schizoid personality disorder are three different psychotic disorders. Just off the top of my head, I'm sure there are others, but. Off the top of my, I just really hurt my finger. Ow. I need to wrap myself in bubble wrap. I would get a lot less injuries. But yeah. Psychotic disorders are complicated. And they are pretty serious mental health conditions. I'm not saying that depression or anxiety isn't a serious mental health condition. What I mean is it schizoaffective disorder is they is is a severe mental health. Oh, my hands are gonna fall. When I say they're serious mental illnesses, what I mean is they're harder to treat. And I know depression can be really complicated to treat as well, but it's just not on the same level. They're two completely different spectrums, they're different disorders. 
Now, I, cho I choose to be medicated for my mental health conditions. And I believe that's the best decision I could make based on what I go through and what I experience. Off medication, I can't function in society. If I was to stop taking my medication, I would end up in hospital within a week. Because I'm going to be really blunt here. My depression is really bad. And I am still going through a bit of a depressive episode at the minute. I'm starting to come out of it now though. But... Basically... My depression is serious. I get chronically suicidal very quickly. And that's a scary thing to admit because, well, no one likes to talk about suicide. And I'm very open about the fact that I do get suicidal quite easily, which is why I choose to take two antidepressants. Honestly, mental illness is just complicated. But I think we need to understand that psychotic symptoms are so unpredictable. You never know when you're going to go into a psychotic episode. And if you want more information on the psychotic episode, Alana made a video where she was experiencing symptoms real time. And I will link that on the iCard there. No, up there. And yeah, she's a really great, she's a really great person, Alana is. She talks about schizoaffective disorder, she talks about bipolar depression, she talks about being in hospital, she does singing covers, beauty videos, hair care videos, skin care videos. She does, it, she does it all. So go check her out. I'll link her channel in the description down below because I think she's a truly incredible person. So yeah, that's all I've got for this video. If you want me to do more talky videos, then let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions about schizoaffective disorder or psychotic symptoms or psychotic disorders, leave them in the comments down below and I will answer them in a video. And if you're not already following my Instagram, that's where I ask for questions, assumptions, video requests, Honestly, the place to be if you want to be responsible for a video or have a question in the video answered. I do check YouTube as well, so make sure you have your notifications turned off when I post posts. Because I do that sometimes. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.